Those elements weren't around at the Big Bang. Ooh. They were manufactured in the cores of stars. Nice. Of a kind of star that happens to then re-release it out into space. Sweet. So you have to stockpile generations of these supernova explosions that have made these elements and enriched the galaxy. You have to stockpile generations of them so that a later gas cloud right. doesn't only have the hydrogen and helium it was endowed with at the Big Bang, it's got these extra contaminant enrichments. <laughs> and out of those enrichments, the next generation of star systems will have the ingredients that can make planets and people. That is really very- And that, life in general. I wish that that was common knowledge, that what you just said right there is so important in terms of an origin story. Yes. It's so important. It's our origin story. It's our origin story. Origin story of life. Yeah. Right. Wow. Hey, man, that's a great question. That's but why if, you, if you're looking at very, very old stars right. in the galaxy, uh -huh. it's pointless to try to find planets with life on them. 